you guys. Um, I'm actually, I have kind of a nice day today, in spite of all the traffic. I, um, I've been to Chicago like five or six times now, and I've never seen any of it. I've never done anything in Chicago ever. Because when I'm on tour, it's always like, you know, you have to keep moving or you just end up spending way more money than you're making, right? And then your tour lasts for like a hundred years, and... Um, it's Pride! Pride! <laughs> Right, so, <laughs> I actually flew in last night, which is kind of amazing. I sat next to a famous person on the plane. You guys won't believe this. I can't believe this person rides an economy. I was sitting next to fucking Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Can you believe that? This little girl totally just like bounded on the plane. She was so brave and so bilingual. <laughs> She was adorable. She looked exa- Adora. Well, get it? <laughs> um, that's funny in the Midwest, that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> she had this, she was so perfect. She had this, like, enormous, like, sort of, like a brick of hair, you know? <laughs> it was so big. And she was with, the, with her family, and she was, like, the only one who knew what was going on. Like, you could tell they were on some kind of quest, like, Captain Planet. <laughs> something or other, and she was so over everything, and she was just sort of like barking out orders and stuff, and when she saw her rose, she like rolled, she saw me, she like rolled her eyes, and then just like flew over me. I didn't have to get up or anything, it was incredible. So, I sat next to Dora, and then I got in last night, and um, oh my god, one of my, one of my best friends from high school, one of my prom dates, lives here in, uh, in Chicago, and I haven't seen her in like 10 years, and another one of our friends from high school is here visiting her. So I actually met up with them, and we went and like had Indian food downtown. It was really fun. And then um, today, what did I do today? Oh, I sat in traffic for two hours <laughs> so that I could have the best waffle in Chicago. I'm not gonna tell you where it was because it turned it out it turned out to be like an average diner waffle. <laughs> when I was sitting in the highway, not texting or Facebooking, I mean I was parked on the highway, so it was safe, you know. I was like somebody commented about I I posted about my quest for the waffle and, and they were like, I hope you're not going to whatever I forget what it's called. Like, I hop fucking Lucifer Williams or like it's someone's name, like Patty Smith or Lou Diamond. Lou Mitchell. Yes, Lou Mitchell. Supposedly it was the best waffle, but I don't know. Anyway, I got to go up in the Sears Tower. And I went to Millennium Park for like 20 minutes and stuff, so it was just... And then I went back to O'Hare, took a shower. So I'm glad I got to experience a little bit of your city. I think it's really cool that there's a huge... Um, Hedwig and the Angry Inch that's like silver in that... What's it called? Grant? Park. Grant Park. Yeah. That big silver building. It looks exactly like Hedvig's hair. I was like, wow, that's like an homage to my friend John Kimmer Mitchell. 